at the 2024 WWE Backlash pay-per-view, a new member joined the Bloodline, as Roman Reigns reacts to this shocking new development. This all comes after Paul Heyman admitted that he had not talked to Roman Reigns since WrestleMania 40, and obviously there are questions about whose side Paul Heyman is actually on. Does Paul Heyman acknowledge Solo Sokoa as the Tribal Chief? Well, Roman himself is still calling himself the Tribal Chief. On his Twitter account, he calls himself the Tribal Chief in his bio. In fact, he has a banner at the top of his account that says the one and only Tribal Chief. So that shows who Roman believes is a tribal chief, it's himself and not Solo or anyone else. But with that being said, what happened at Backlash truly changes everything for Roman Reigns. During the tag match involving Tamatanga, Solo Sokoa versus Kevin Owens and Randy Orton, the referee was about to count to three and cause the bloodline to lose, but the last second, a mysterious man showed up and pulled the referee out of the ring, stopping the three count. Who was this man? It was the brother of Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, and he helped the bloodline win the match. And after they won the match, they welcomed their newest member, Tonga Loa, into the bloodline the bloodline was seen walking backstage after the match, and they ran into a former member of the bloodline, Jay Uso. A very uncomfortable yet interesting moment, as this could mean something very big and surprising is about to happen involving Jay Uso and this new bloodline, especially because Paul Heyman gave Jay a very interesting look. A look that some say reveals that Heyman and Jay Uso have a secret plan. But obviously, after this new member joined the bloodline, what people want to know is what does Roman Reigns think about this? And what is his reaction? Well, we now have the answer. And let's get to it right now. Some fans were hopeful that Roman Reigns would make his return at the Backlash pay-per-view. And when the referee got pulled out of the ring and his three count was stopped, some thought for a moment, it's Roman Reigns. He's back. He pulled the referee out. He's joining Solo's bloodline. But then it was revealed that it was a new member, Tonga Loa. Roman was nowhere to be found at the pay-per-view, still missing from WWE. And more evidence that Roman Reigns will continue to be missing from WWE is that on the official SmackDown page on WWE.com, Roman Reigns has been removed. If you see here, here is the banner with Roman Reigns. This was at the top of the page. Roman Reigns, front and center. Obviously, the biggest star on SmackDown, but now removed. In his place, the man who beat him for his title, Cody Rhodes. Now, we have to remember that Roman was not drafted, which means he might just be a free agent. Currently, he's not signed with either brand. Could he possibly show up on both brands? Maybe show up on Raw when they debut on Netflix next year. Or show up on SmackDown when they move to the USA Network later this year. Right now, there is a lot of unknowns about Roman Reigns. But what is known is he didn't show up at Backlash. He's been removed from the SmackDown banner. And Paul Heyman has not talked to him since WrestleMania 40. However, Michael Cole at the Backlash pay-per-view did reiterate that Paul Heyman, when he said that he hadn't talked to Roman Reigns since WrestleMania 40, Michael Cole made it seem like 
Roman hasn't talked to Haman, but Roman told Haman, you're in charge. You make the decisions. Whatever you want to do, you do because I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be making movies and spending time with my family. I can't deal with WWE stuff right now. You call the shots. So is it possible that Roman, even though Heyman has not talked to him since WrestleMania 40, Heyman and him have a deal where Paul Heyman will make all decisions for Roman Reigns until he returns, if he returns. Right now, we don't know when Roman might return. It could very well be next year. But what we do know is that even though Roman Reigns is not talking to Paul Heyman, he is reacting to the bloodline, adding a new member at the Backlash pay-per-view. Now, some might say that Roman is too busy to pay attention to what happens in WWE right now. And he doesn't even know that there's a new member in the bloodline because he has other priorities in life right now. However, Roman Reigns seemingly does know about this new member, Tonga Loa, as Roman Reigns was active on Twitter during the pay-per-view and he posted the following to his Twitter account. He retweeted a post from WWE announcing that WrestleMania 41 will be held in Las Vegas. Some are saying that Roman retweeted this because it means he will be making his return at WrestleMania 41. So that means he'll be gone for basically 11 months, if that is true. But others have said that because Roman retweeted this just as the pay-per-view was ending, it means that he was aware of what was going on in WWE and that obviously he knows that the bloodline added a new member and it's Tama Tonga's brother. Now with Roman Reigns calling himself the tribal chief still on his Twitter account and Roman retweeting this about WrestleMania 41, many fans are saying that this adds up to one thing. Roman Reigns is very upset and disturbed by this new member joining the bloodline at Backlash. This is because Roman was very, very careful about who he added to his bloodline. And some have speculated that Roman probably shed some tears after he saw these shocking developments at Backlash. What are your thoughts about the new member, Tongaloa, joining the bloodline at Backlash? Leave a comment and give me your opinion.